It's the irony of ironies as Malaysia hosts the world's largest anti-corruption conference here in the political capital of Putrajaya. Prime Minister Najib Razak is nowhere to deliver his planned keynote address as he faces allegations $700 million from the state investment fund 1MDB were transferred to his personal bank accounts before the 2013 general election. Instead, he sends a minister from his department who outlines Malaysia's graft-busting efforts. Minister Paul Lowe glosses over the controversy, but there's no evading Malaysia's biggest political scandal. Uh, you have a meeting of uh, activists here, fearless activists, right? So the issue is, how is the reception to him? Because of this, uh, therefore, uh, we advise him that in terms of security, in terms of the atmosphere, uh, that he will have to, uh, it's, it's best that I take his note. And that's why I'm delivering the keynote address uh, today. The Global Watchdog Transparency International organizes the conference along with the Malaysian government. But its leadership calls out Najib for failing to answer questions on the debt-ridden and allegedly mismanaged state fund. 1MDB was supposed to help Malaysia become a high-income economy. There are two questions that need to be answered. Who paid the money and why? Where did it go? One man could answer could answer those questions. If that does not happen, then only a fully independent investigation, free from political interference, can uncover the truth. Until that happens, no claim from the government on anti-corruption will be credible. The 1MDB scandal threw Malaysia into political and economic uncertainty as Najib refuses to take accountability. Anti-corruption advocates attending the conference support the thousands of Malaysians who went to the streets this weekend to call for a clean government. They say a citizenry that demands strong institutions and transparent policies will give life to the summit theme of ending impunity for corruption. Ayi Makaraig, Rappler, Malaysia.